In my previous video, I talked about the fear that salespeople often have of hearing the dreaded no from prospects. And I explained how to go about opening up a conversation with someone that you've never met before so that you can gather some information and then know how to proceed. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'm going to put the link to it in the description below this one. And I would recommend you go and watch that video first. It's only about six minutes long, but it's going to teach you how to open up a conversation with your prospects, how to get permission from a prospect to ask them questions. And now in today's video, we're going to look at the kinds of questions you can ask once a prospect gives you permission so that you can find out whether or not your product or service is able to solve one of the problems that your prospect might be facing. So let's imagine that you've opened up a conversation with a prospect. They've given you permission to ask them a few questions. And now you want to further the conversation and gather some information. What kind of questions could you ask your prospect? in order to demonstrate your expertise in your field and in order to find out whether or not they have any of the challenges or problems that you typically see in your market and that your product or service helps them to solve. So once I've got permission from a salesperson to ask him or her a few questions, I might follow up with something like this. Thanks, Jane. So typically the salespeople that I work with don't have a consistent system or model in place to help them once they've opened up the conversation. They're not clear on which steps they should take next in order to move the sale forward to the close. Or they might have a great sales system and model in place, but they're absolutely terrified when it comes to making a sales presentation, especially if they have to do that in front of a group of decision makers inside the organization that they've opened up a conversation with. Or that might not even be a problem. Maybe they have their sales presentation down, but many salespeople are shaking in their sales boots when it comes to asking for the sale or closing the sale. I get the feeling you're going to tell me that none of those three things are a problem that you're facing in your sales role. Why do I refer to three common challenges that I've noticed when I work with salespeople? It's because they're the most common things that salespeople struggle with. And by mentioning those three challenges, there's a good chance that the salesperson I'm talking with is going to be struggling with at least one of them. And he or she is going to realize, because I've mentioned one of those problems that they're struggling with, that I do know what I'm talking about, that I have some experience working with people in the medical device and pharmaceutical sales industries, and that's going to build a little bit more uh, trust between myself and them when they realize that I understand the things that salespeople are facing in these industries. Now, you'll also notice that at the end of referring to these three challenges, I stated, but I get the feeling that you're going to tell me that you're not struggling with any of those problems, something to that effect. Why do I do that? Well, because I don't want to assume that this salesperson or this prospect I'm talking to is dealing with any of these problems. Maybe this person is a one percenter. They might be the best salesperson, not just in their company, perhaps in their market. So I don't want to suppose or assume that they're struggling with something that they're not really struggling with. However, I find that in most cases, one of these issues is going to resonate with them. And by giving them those three examples of challenges that most salespeople face, I have a pretty good shot at hitting the target with them and then furthering the conversation from there when they say, well, no, actually I am facing one of those challenges. And then they tell me which one it is. So to sum up, once you gain permission from your prospect to ask a few questions or to open up a conversation, you're going to refer to two or three common problems or challenges that people in that particular uh, business or that role face and find out from your prospect whether or not any of those issues resonate with them. And if they're common problems, it's very likely that they're going to say, well, yes, we do face that problem. And then you can start digging deeper. You can ask a few more questions. 
to find out what they've tried to do to solve that problem and how the solutions they've tried have worked, what challenges they've faced with those solutions, whether they've brought in outside help to try and solve those problems. The more that you can get to know about what they've done to try and solve those problems and the results that have come from that, the better position you're going to be in to help them moving forward. And that's something that I'm going to address in my next video. So please watch for that. So remember, go back to my previous video and learn how to open up a conversation. And then with the help of this video and the suggestions I've given you, you can very easily move the conversation forward to find out whether the common problems that you've been seeing with companies and individuals in your market are being faced by the person you're talking to. And as I said, in my next video, we'll go over what you can do next after that. Now, remember to like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel and by all means hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of the future stuff I've got ready for you. And if you need help, if you're a salesperson in the medical device or pharmaceutical industries, or you're a sales manager or a training manager, and you're looking to help your salespeople easily and effectively open up conversations with prospects, with decision-making groups, by all means, feel free to contact me. You can do that in two ways. You can send me a text message to area code 204-806-2977. That's 204-806-2977. I'm based in Canada. Or you can email me at mikeallisoncoaching at gmail.com. And I'd be happy to look at how we can work together to help you to become more effective in your sales role. Thanks for watching. And I wish you all the best. Have a great week ahead.